It's one of the most viral videos on TikTok, perhaps because it's easy to do, and the result is truly mind-blowing. We are talking about the Diet Coke and Mentos Challenge. It's basically a science experiment, wherein Mentos candies are dumped into a bottle of Coca-Cola, and there is an almost instantaneous explosion of the soda that shoots up into the sky. For this reason, the challenge is usually done outdoors. The more Mentos and Coke used, the higher the explosion. It's really an awesome thing to see, which is why videos of this challenge have received a lot of views and likes. It is also for this reason that the idea was incorporated in the 2012 computer animated comedy wreck It Ralph. In the movie, a major character, Vanilla von Schweetz, lives inside Diakola Mountain, whose roof is filled with stalactites made up of Mentos candies. From time to time, some of the candies will get unstuck and plunge into the Diakola pool, causing minor eruptions. But during the climax of the movie, the hero Ralph collapses the entire roof of the mountain to create a very large soda eruption that kills the villain called Turbo and his insect monsters, the Cybogs. That eruption scene was truly a sight to behold. So why does Diet Coke behave this way in the presence of Mentos? We have got the explanation. But first, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. It will inspire us further to create more fun and informative videos just for you. Actually, it's not just Diet Coke that will explode with Mentos candies. Any carbonated beverage will behave the same way, although at a lesser degree. But what causes this? Is there something in the candies that causes a chemical reaction with the soda? Just like what happens when you mix together vinegar and baking soda? Experts who have studied this challenge say, no chemical reaction happens here. Instead, it's just a physical reaction. Carbonated drink contains a lot of dissolved carbon dioxide gas that sticks to the water part of the drink. Inside the bottle, which has been pressurized, the gas maintains its bond with the water as it can't escape. But when you pour the soda into a glass, some of the gas escapes and it manifests as foam. The rest of the gas is kept with the water due to the water's surface tension. But given the opportunity, all of those gas would like to be free and interact with themselves. Adding Mentos candies breaks the bond between carbon dioxide and water in the cola. The gas then pushes the liquid out of the bottle in a split second. This happens because the candies, despite looking like they have a smooth surface, actually have thousands of microscopic craters, pores, peaks, and pits. In these very tiny potholes, carbon dioxide bubbles form and congregate rapidly, causing gaps to appear inside the bottle and pressure to form that pushes the soda out of the bottle. If the bottle has a narrow neck, it increases the pressure and speed of the eruption. You can also use other candies that have a similar shape, such as M&Ms, but they will not produce a similar eruption because they are really smoother than Mentos. Basically, it's those peaks and valleys on the candy's surface that allow carbon dioxide bubbles to form, varying very quickly that leads to a great explosion. So that's why Mentos causes Diet Coke to explode. How come Diet Coke tend to produce a bigger explosion compared to any regular soda? The reason is because of aspartame. Instead of sugar or corn syrup that regular soda has, Diet Coke has this ingredient that is more efficient in lowering the surface tension of liquid. This means the carbon dioxide gas can escape more easily when Mentos candies are added. Another reason why Diet Coke is more preferable to use in the experiment over regular soda is because it is less sticky and therefore easier to clean up. We hope you have found this latest episode of AHA, so that's why quite informative. We would like to hear from you. Just comment down below for your feedback. Please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.